predict I would do that. No way. Oh my gosh. This person's good. Troll magic. The world record is three minutes. How long can it be? All right, y'all, let's get lost in the woods. To the person that stole my antidepressants, I hope that you're happy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I am already in a fish. All right, well, I like how I'm getting conflicting messages. It tells me to get a fire flower, but then it tells me not to get a fire flower. There could be a gap at the top. If you look right above the fire flower, there could be a gap there. There was no gap. <laughs> there was no gap. Dang it. At least we have this nice little cubby. I mean, it did say no fire flower. The 50 though, the 50s. Wait, there's a fire flower over there too. The 50s where it's at. This has gotta be, this has gotta be the most disrespectful level I've ever played. At least we got to visit DGR. Uh, oh, is this gonna be like, hey, there's 50 fire flowers, but they all kill you? I, I'm guaranteeing that this one is going to also be bad. It's bad. Hey, look, thanks, there's another one. How can this one be, oh, there's, there's hidden blocks. Okay, there's there's for sure hidden blocks underneath this. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I'm out. What? Oh, is it gonna blow up or am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait, if that's not it, then what do I do? Cause there was no way to hit that and not, and not get stuck in there, right? Cause it's a hidden block. Is it, oh, come on, is it really? No, it's not this one. It's not this one. I knew it wasn't gonna be that one. What is it? What is it? Where do I go? It's already over. I'm stumped. <laughs> there has to be something else I can do here. Oh, just don't jump. Okay, okay. Because I, I don't know what happened last time, but I hit some hidden block or something and got, I released something else. Let's just boop and pray. <laughs> okay, this is good. Checkpoint, hello. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Oh boy, this looks like... When you see a red coin next to a checkpoint... Oh, hello. You, you just know that you're in for a... Aether Pie flashback. Hmm... I think this is... Wow, this is interesting. The only place I can go is this. I'm assuming the other ones are gonna blow up at some point. Did you guys hear the hello? That is that has got to be one of the best uses. Is that Wendy? Uh, that she she says hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I don't think I actually want it. No, maybe I do. Hold on, wait. I can get these. I can get these. Yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling that this is not gonna. It looks like that mushroom is gonna come down when I hit this because of the P block. I'm assuming that's gonna be bad, and it's bad, and we're in. All right. <sighs> Tried to avoid it, but I didn't know how. I think I have to get this. I don't think I want to go up there. Okay, I can't even go up there. Hmm. Why would I ever go up here? That was scary. Okay. But I don't need this. I think this was like if I had gotten hit. Ding dong. Ooh, that's a face. And I'm dead. <laughs> nice face. <laughs> what the heck? This tries to trick you to damage boost through it, but I was so unaware. I was so unaware of the. Oh. Well, we're gonna find out what's up here. Hello? Oh! Okay. Oh, no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's... Don't give me the star. Wait, wait, hold on. We have to know. Oh, we're gonna get this. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I can't do it. Wait, can I just hit this? Oh, I can just hit this. I am so blind. I can just hit that. Just take the easy way out. Okay, so we do sit here, but then we wait. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I think that's what I do. 
I'm just, I'm getting out of here. I don't trust your mushroom. I don't need your mushroom. I need your mushroom. Can I have the mushroom? Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Just, there's a muncher down there. Is it gonna hit me? Do I want that? I don't know if I wanted that. Did I want that? I think I'm boned. <laughs> Wait, no, I did want that because now I'm still big. You can get hit twice with that mushroom. This is good. What's happening? I don't have a, oh, I don't have a. Oh no, I think I needed to keep the, no, I did it right, but I didn't. Okay, I think I have to let it come to me because I did need to have the SMP2 power up there. For me, it the the fact that like stimulants are used to treat um, ADHD was very strange. It was like a very strange idea because it's like if my problem is being like too hyperactive or whatever, how could giving a stimulant to somebody like actually be a good thing? And the way the way I heard it explained was like. Um, hold on, wait, let me try to not be dumb. I think I just do this, go over here, and then grab it. Okay, oh, but it doesn't, wait, is this, this is still fine, this is still fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good. <laughs> anyway, um, so the way that I heard it described is that, like, well, actually, one of the, one of the reasons that people who might have the, like, hyperactive forms of ADHD are, like, constantly doing things, looking for stimulation, whatever, being impulsive, or whatever, you know, it's because they're looking for something to excite them. And so if you give them a stimulant, it's like you, they don't, ha they can kind of get that internally. They don't have to, um, they don't have to be like engaging in all the, you know, undesirable stuff that's searching for stimulation. Okay, we're good now, right? Do I want to kick this? I mean, I have to kick it. We're going to kick it. Is this going to be... Okay, we got another red coin. Let's go up here. This looks okay. Is this is this CP two? The second checkpoint. We didn't die that. Oh, we died. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, one way that I can think about like the stuff that I've experienced is almost like like everything. Uh, a lot of things bore me. And so like, unless something is extremely stimulated, then I don't want to do it. Or stimulating, then I don't want to do it. And so it's almost like a problem with like your brain not finding things that should be reasonably enjoyable or rewarding, not finding them rewarding enough. Okay, we're gonna go in this door. I don't know if this is smart or not. Help. I should be... All right, somehow troll magic. I believe in troll magic. <laughs> Did I need that power up? Or has troll magic won the day? Okay, I think I... Where... <laughs> no, come on! <sighs> okay, you know, it's interesting how these snakes can actually destroy sprites. Like, you see it destroyed the spring. I feel like you could do some interesting stuff with that. I am very mad at you, level creator. I almost did the exact same thing twice because I was thinking about what something somebody in chat said. Oh, uh, let me finish this so I can actually... No! Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> mm, left. No! <laughs> oh, come on! What the heck? Oh my gosh, that was great. I think I just wait. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. This level is is very devious. You know, it's it's pretty simple and like seemingly linear looking, but and you know, granted we're like side having a mental health conversation in chat, but these setups are really getting me. See, I got scared of that fish coming back at me because I've 
clearly not learned that green fish don't turn around, it's only the red ones that do. There we go. I'm scared. Uh. 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 Here, you want it? You ready for the cosmic brain play? Here's the cosmic brain play. We're gonna put that there, then go here. I shouldn't hit this. That was risky. Come on! No! You predicted that I would do that? What? How the heck did they predict I would do that? No way! Oh my gosh, this person's good. Okay, don't do that. No! Ah. <laughs> All right, let's go, progress. Oh, what's this? I don't like it, but I'm getting the shinies. Gimme, 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 yeah. Okay. That face worries me greatly. How are we at it? Also, I like how <laughs> I like how one of the options here. It's <laughs> oh my god, I was just gonna do a small jump. <laughs> I was just gonna do a small jump. I wasn't gonna actually do it. What's happening in this level? Okay, I feel like the design of this level is very complicated because there are a lot of doors that we have not yet gone in. 30. <laughs> Come, on, no. Come on, let me think. Let me think, let me overthink myself into a trap. Come on. So what was in the key door? Come on, what was in it? Yeah, like what CP are we even on anymore? I'm gonna hit this. <laughs> how, is, <laughs> how is that ever going to work? I'll tell you how. Troll magic, all right? I just wanted to believe in troll magic. That even though the very floor that I was currently standing on was being held up by that switch, it doesn't even, I bet you it doesn't even matter. This whole setup doesn't even matter. I bet you 100% either path is fine. It is simply designed to create analysis paralysis so that you just stand there and die. I'm mad. Uh, I guess we're going up here. Oh no, what is this gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, it forced me in that little side path. I should get the 50. Hmm. I don't see any other way through this. I don't understand how I don't die to this. How do I not die to this? I jump out. Didn't I try that? Pretty sure I tried that the first time. Oh, hey, there's an arrow pointing down. Clearly I saw that. Clearly. Hmm. 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 I do want this. It's weird that that I think I think Defender used something like that. Whoa! What a bunch of crazy setups. I have no idea what's happening in this level, but I like it. Troll magic. I feel like we've been in what like two of these paths or something. I can't even tell because there's two different checkpoints, right? Aren't there? Okay, uh, go, 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 go. Ooh! Okay, I think this is gonna, oh, I know exactly what this is gonna do. This is gonna be like the end of the third level in my ROM hack, Fly Me to the Stars, where it's gonna hit something, it's gonna hit the on and off switch, and it's gonna, it's gonna be like, okay, you gotta progress from one to the next, but the very last one is gonna be wrong. I'm calling it now, stolen from Fly Me to the Stars. Let's go. Okay, now we go to this one, now we go to this one, but we don't go, yep, I know it, I call it! Fuck 
fucking called it! Ah. <laughs> Stolen from Fly Me to the Stars, which I stole from something else. It's fine. I think I wait on the last. I just wait. Yeah, there we go. Why are you stealing from Carl? This is weird. There's an arrow po You know, I'm gonna trust this arrow and just... <laughs> I mean, I wasn't totally wrong. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna do that and then just get up. Yeah, okay. Whew. Why would I go up here? I'm curious. So curious. Stay back. Uh, ooh, hello, Thwompy McThwomperson. What if I... I think this is gonna break. Oh, I just did not move. I got scared. We steal from Carl because Carl can't successfully steal from ruins twice. I think it's been more than twice at this point. I think I just sit here. I think I just be a brave boy. Yeah, I just be a brave boy. Until I don't. Wait, is this still fine? This might still be fine. Oh my gosh, I think we've done it! Oh. Mm. Shoot. How do we not... How do we get through this, then? Do I need... Alright, then. I now understand. <laughs> what happens if I hold down? Is that better? Or does it not matter? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't end up mattering, does it? Yeah, because either way, we're back down to small here. Okay. So for this one, we want to hit this. Yeah, we want to hit this again. And then the bomb will have a little cubby to fall into. Clever. Oh, what's going to come out of those? Ooh. Is this the same? <laughs> How did this kill me last time? I don't remember how it killed me last time. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember. There was a... <laughs> Can I run from it or is it not runnable? Okay, it's runnable. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good, fine. Oh, it's telling me I have to hold right. Oh, I did have to hold right. I actually had to hold right. Is this a level where it repeatedly takes you to the end, but every time you fail to do the ending right, it gives you a new option? This is actually brilliant if this is the case. I want to know if the level had been actually clearable the first time I got to the key door. And then it's just like, in order to get your next chance, you have to go through another completely different set of... Knock, knock. Everybody home. You have to go through a completely different set of trolls. But look at that face! Look at that way, look at that face. This level's really interesting from a technical perspective, too. I'll be honest, I feel like I'm on checkpoint 15 and I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Come on! Just wanted shinies. Mmm. I think I can still do this. Oh, but that blocks it. I just wanted the shiny. And just say hello to that person over there. I like how it's a red coin level, but you can only enter one room at a time. Yeah, yeah, there, I can't quite put my finger on it, but some part of the construction of the level is, is very odd. It feels like I'm constantly going between two different checkpoints, but they're different anyway, so like, I have no understanding of where I actually am. I could be, I could still be at the beginning, I could be at the end, I have no idea. I like that troll a lot. That was a really simple troll, but I like it a lot. <laughs> it's like the Geeks Guinness setup, but optimized. Yeah, it, it does remind me of that. All right, we just sit here. <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen up here? All right, F me up, fam. When I hit this, something's gonna happen. Oh! Oh, that's such a great setup. <laughs> I held right and all I had to do was go the other way. That was such a great setup. He's like, 
you know, the, the thwomp is constantly getting hit by the spring, and it, it looks like your impending doom awaits on the left side, so you get shepherded to the right. That's exactly what they want you to think. <laughs> That's a great setup. Oh, I'm scared of this. Oh. No. Oh, there was a, a bottom. Wait, this is the back of a pipe. I didn't even notice that that is the back of an unfinished pipe. People, okay. Oh, that thwomp literally lets me through. They all do. What a bunch of nice, see they were nice thwomps all along. They were helping me. Oh no, I'm, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. The one time I make a, Actual decision and it doesn't matter. All right, so we're on like checkpoint five billion right now So I get the key I basically go through two rounds and then I get a key again I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not What just happened? I didn't want to hold down because I knew that was gonna be crap But I didn't know what else to do. So I just stood there I'm gonna hold right? Yeah, it's hold right. Oh, wait, no, what? Oh my gosh, double shiny attack of doom. Can I? No, sorry, just, all right, just smush me. Thank you. I know this level has content. Sifu, we were talking about making comparisons earlier. <laughs> <sighs> okay, just run. Are you kidding me? Now I need it. Yeah, of course. Literally 50, 50, 100. Every single time I tried to actually get the thing, I didn't need it. The one time I do need it, I don't get it. Hello, fish. Hello. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Thank you. All right. Do I really? Wait, what's this trying to tell me here? I don't want the fire flower, but I need the fire flower. Oh, I can't, I know how I can get that. I can get that fire flower as long as I'm on the left side. This is weird. Do I go over there and hit the switch or not? I'm gonna get, I've gotta be doing this wrong. I'm gonna get something has, <gasps> do we do it right? I think we did it right. Yeah, cause I would get stuck if I were big. We did it right and this is bag here. I think we have another shot at the end. This is a different switch state because I can't go over there this time. So it's not letting me die. I think this is the final pass. So this means no key death this time. Yeah, there's nothing else to do other than win. I want the top of the flagpole. Oh, okay. Did we just run out of options? That was... I'm surprised that was it. I'm surprised that was it. We escaped the woods, GG. Okay, I really wanna know though, could we have beaten it on the other passes? Yeah, that was a surprisingly benevolent ending. What, did I miss something or was that it? Oh, you couldn't have beaten it. Okay, so no matter what, no matter what, no matter what you tried at the end, you wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I did see the flag reveal. <laughs> Final fiche count 12. Yeah, the little flag in the hole was cute. That was the real reward at the end of the level was that cute little flag. If you couldn't beat it from the other points, how is the level cleared to be uploaded? Biggie, I think that means that there had to have been a dev exit. Usually there's like a super elaborate, like wait until this time period, go back with this power up, only, you know, like find an off screen falling hidden blog bullshit of doom. Simo uh, says, I have a positive story to share. I talked to my current bosses about my ADHD. Uh, we're working in educational stuff for child or for children with learning disabilities So I figured it wouldn't be a bad thing to share my ADHD story and they actually offered to buy me some noise-canceling headphones to help me concentrate It's such a small thing, but I was glad that they cared so much. Yeah, but I think I think that like What really makes a difference is not like, you know, anybody doing a big thing, right? It's just like being in an environment that gives a shit about you the way that you are without making you feel worse about that, right? It's like the antithesis of of uh, what the per what some of the people above were talking about, where like the environment that you're in is like actively bringing you down or making a situation worse. That's why I think like it's not even that it's not even that much effort to make 
situations better for people, to make environments better for people in school or work or whatever it is, which is why it's so stupid that we don't do it more. I don't struggle with mental health issues myself too much, but what's the best way to help a friend? I mean, I think the, like the, the most basic thing is to just, you know, tell them this to just like listen to whatever it is that they're going through and to just show basic like empathy for them. You know, things like that you may not understand whatever it is they're going for, going through, but you're still supporting them. Um, if you want to, but more than that, you can also just try to read about like whatever it is like for them. So like I've never had depression personally, um, but I remember one time I read like a big list of like, it was like 50 things you should never say to somebody with depression. And I realized that I'd said some of the things on that list and it, you know, it made me, it really like um, made me reconsider how I was interacting with people because I think a lot of people have a tendency to like, when something doesn't affect you, to have a tendency to sort of assume that you know what will help because you don't have that problem and you know, so this is what works for you or whatever. But they can actually be really hurtful to a lot of people to just to suggest that, oh, you know, you just need to do this and then you'll feel better when it's not so simple. CBD is something that actually helps, not CBT. CBT can be, help CBT was very helpful for me, but I think, I think everybody, you know, has their own, has their own thing that works for them. And I think it's important to realize that. Like, I feel like this is, this is a problem with so many things. Like it's it, basically like you have something that works for you. And so you are so, you know, happy that you found something that works for you that you want to go like preach that to everybody else, right? Like this is like the classic annoying person who just discovered going to the gym or just discovered literally anything. And it's like, you know, the same solution for one person is not the same solution for everybody. It would be nice if life were that simple, but it's not that simple. And I think it's, I think it's harmful to sort of push that narrative. Like it's, 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 it's also the same sort of thing as like, oh, you're depressed, just go outside. You know, going outside makes me feel better. It'll make you feel better too, Lamau. Like that's not how humans work. Uh, Team Lunchbox says, I feel like I might have undiagnosed ADHD because I never really thought about my inability to focus on one task was something weird but I feel weird asking a doctor. Yeah, I think that that's, I think that's common for a lot of people that they don't like the idea of talking to somebody or some sort of healthcare professional about mental health stuff. I don't know, basically what I did was I just went to the, um, I mean, one of the nice things about COVID is having everything available just from, you know, like uh, you can just basically be on your computer and you could talk to a doctor or a psychologist or whatever. Uh, what I basically did was I went to psych, I think it's called psychology today and they have like lists of psychologists who specialize in different things And I just found one that seemed like they specialize in the sort of stuff that was relevant to me and you know, you can always do that talk to somebody and If you end up not liking it, then you know, you've wasted a little bit of time in a zoom call or whatever <laughs> You know, so as long as you have the I mean, you know, assuming that you have Assuming that you can afford it, unfortunately, is something else to consider. I really do appreciate the discussion. Oh yeah, um, uh, turn the turn brings up a good point. They say, can we also address how expensive it is to address these things? Right, and it, it like breaks my heart. It makes me so it makes me so upset um, because I know people in my life who either in the past have wanted to and have needed to do like any sort of health related intervention stuff, whether it's mental health or physical health. And they've, you know, it'll, it'll literally be like, well, I can't afford to go to the doctor or, you know, well, I can't afford medication or, well, I can't afford to see a therapist. And that's just, you know, so fucking broken. Like that just should, I feel like that should never happen. Why do we, why are we like, like, I don't know why, why is everybody's health? Like the dumb thing to me is like investing in everybody's health is beneficial for society. It literally saves money in the long run, right? Like if you address a problem, it's the same thing with cancer, right? Like if you address a problem early, it costs less money overall for everybody later. So it's just the incentives are all wrong. It's, it's not scientific. It's not fucking useful. And it's, it's just so bad. Uh, Adara says, I just started my PhD, but labs are closed down until at least May. Any ideas how to struggle with the lab withdrawal? Uh, I had some lab withdrawal myself. Um, things that I've found useful are like podcasts where they talk about science stuff. Um, maybe joining joining discords or chats or anything like that where you can, or even maybe, maybe you know some people in grad school too. 
um, to just like start like a, like a once a week journal club type of a thing or I don't know, some way that you can engage with, with other people or with or just find interesting content related to whatever it is that you're not getting elsewhere. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know.